In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over creating a range slider field type. So we'll go ahead and create this in the job field. So go ahead and go to the job fields here. We'll go ahead and click on add new job. And I'm going to do um, the meta key is going to go job um, salary range. And from the type here, we're going to select range slider. Job salary. Select the salary range. For the priority, I'm just going to leave it blank so it automatically, you know, decides on where to put it at. Um, go ahead and down here to the advanced settings. And now you'll notice here we have the default value, the title, prepend, append, minimum, maximum, and step. And you'll notice here, so on the default, I'm actually not going to set a default title. So in the tooltip that's going to come up, that'll show up when you hover over it. And I'm going to put, please select the salary range. Now, the prepend is what's going to be shown before the value. The append would be something that would be used, shown after the value. So, uh, what we're going to do here is, for the job salary one, I'm just going to go ahead and have a prepend of a uh, dollar sign. We're going to go there, and then on here, the minimum, you can set this. It's totally up to you. These field uh, um, settings are optional. So, uh, well, let's say that for, you know, this our listing, our website, you know, we're only going to allow people to have to post listings that have salaries between, uh, we'll say, 10 and $20 an hour. So I'm going to set the minimum as 10 and I'm going to set the maximum as 20. You could leave the maximum blank if you wanted it to be unlimited, totally up to you. Now the step here, this is when you use the range slider, how far the step is going to be, you know, when you slide it, it'll go up. If so, if I select one here, which is what I'm going to use one, It'll go up by increment by one each time you go up. So let's go ahead and put that as one. And you'll notice here we have this little question mark. Anytime you see a question mark, you can click on that and that'll open up something that's gonna help you kind of give you more information about it. Next, we're gonna look at the output. Uh, for this field, I'm gonna go ahead and use the auto output. If you wanna learn more about the auto output, uh, go ahead and check out the tutorial on that. Uh, but I'm not gonna go over that too much for now just because we're, we're here to focus on the range slider. So I'm gonna get the auto output and I'm gonna do that at the, uh, let's do job meta end. So put that there, standard value output. Yep, that works for me. Uh, let's do that, let's go ahead and put that. Let's, let's show the label, let's wrap it. And okay, that looks good for me. Uh, I do not wanna auto populate this one. Again, check out the other tutorials for more in depth stuff, information on that. And I think we're good to go, yep. So let's also set this as required. So this is a field that needs to be added. Okay, there we go. Our new field has been added. Now let's go ahead and open up our site. Go over here to post a job. We'll just go ahead and select one of these. Now you notice, you'll see here, here's our job salary, that field we just created. Now you'll notice, now when I slide it, you can see it goes up by one, it increments by one value. So I can go from 10 all the way up to 20. The choice is totally up to you, whatever you'd like to do. Um, that's the basics of the actual range slider, um, handling the output and everything like that. There's so many different options. Check out the tutorials on handling the auto output stuff. Now, the one thing I just noticed was that uh, this just says 20. So that's not really going to give the people an idea of what they need to do, what it is. So let's go ahead and let's go back to that field and let's actually edit it. And let's go to advanced and let's append and let's add to that slash HR. So that signifies that it's gonna be you know, $10, $20, whatever it is per hour. Um, you know, you could type in per hour. Let's, let's actually, let's do that, do per hour. So go ahead and save that field, let's update it. Let's go ahead and back here, let's go back to this, let's do details. See here now we have $10, $12 per hour. So now we can see this is right next to each other uh, where you see that. So just to kind of make it easier. And the reason being is, is so that if you wanted something to be output right next to it, it'd be that way. Just add a space to it, save it, go back, post your job, detail, $10 per hour, 11, all the way up. 